Hey, folks, and welcome back for the Monday Morning Motivation brought to you by Colt One Sportsmanship. Guys, super, super excited to have you all tuned in here with us this week because we are absolutely going to have an intense conversation that will bring a tremendous amount of value to your lives for the rest of this week and hopefully way, way, way longer than that because we are talking about why we do not rise to the level of our goals, but we fall to the level of our systems. And before we dive into that, guys, I want to thank you guys for tuning in, whether you found us on Facebook, Instagram, found us on YouTube, or even on the Heart of Horsemanship podcast, and maybe even TikTok, you could have found us there. Guys, if you're on Facebook, be sure to go over and find the Facebook group, Colton Woods Horsemanship Community, where we are interacting with all you guys, sharing articles and a lot more deeper content on to help you with your horsemanship and your lifemanship. And for those of y'all that have joined us on the Heart of Horsemanship podcast off of your devices, greatly, greatly appreciate everyone finding us down there. The downloads are doubling every single month. And one thing we will make sure and ask you guys to do is if you'll leave that five-star rating and leave a review down below, that would mean the world to us is that is how other people can find the podcast. Now, a lot of y'all definitely have not found us on YouTube because, well, I can tell based on the numbers, right? And I would highly recommend you go and find the Colton Woods Horsemanship YouTube channel. Click subscribe because if you haven't already done that, chances are you missed our very first vlog that we dropped this last weekend. These vlogs are bringing some entertainment, some humor to your guys' lives, as well as to show you guys some inside, behind the scenes type things that is happening because we always have a lot going on from breeding to training to teaching to producing all this content and everything else. So guys, greatly appreciate y'all tuning in. Of course, find us on TikTok, Colton Woods Horsemanship. But without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into this Monday Morning Motivation. This week, we are talking about why we do not rise to the level of our goals, but we fall to the level of our systems. What does this mean? Well, this is going to mean something different to every single one of us based on where we're headed in our lives, whether it's with our horses or within our own personal lives, that lifemanship category that I talked about, that would be your relationship with your friends, your family, your mental, your physical, your emotional, and your spiritual health. All of those elements, which I know and believe are super, super, super important to living a healthy life and becoming further connected with your horse and improving not just your horsemanship, but also your life on an everyday basis. Guys, that is something that's super important to me. So when we look at our goals, our goals, when we really break down goals, we, we always talk about our purpose and our passion and finding that why. All of those things are super important. Because when I think about goals, a lot of times the people, when they go and set goals, they're built on motivation. They're built on inspiration. They might have found a really uh, cool hype video on YouTube, or they might have listened to a book, an audio book, or read a book, and got really motivated by someone else's story that created intrinsic motivation, which is amazing because those things can trigger really great changes in people's lives. But how do we keep those changes going? We don't want those. We don't want that motivation and that inspiration. That'll run out. A lot of times when times like this have happened, when this COVID-19 comes around, a lot of people want to have a lot of motivation, a lot of inspiration. Personally, I know this because we are on our own businesses. And unfortunately, on the other side of this, we know that there's going to be a quite a bit of less competition in our area because that motivation, that inspiration that people had while the times were easy as business owners is going to dwindle away really fast, right? But that's why you have to have your reason. You have to know your why and you have to have that passion, but then you have to have a plan for when the times get tough. How are you going to respond and what can you actually do in those times where they get more difficult? But more importantly, probably than just the difficult times is having a plan on the day-to-day -day basis of when you wake up that next morning and you're not quite as motivated or that bed is feeling really comfortable and you're like, I would just rather lay here. No, you need to have a plan in place. You might even need to have that accountability buddy that you know you're gonna have to tell on later. Hey, did you get up and did you get your things done this morning? So when I think about this, when we say we don't rise to the level of our goals, but we fall to the level of our systems, that means we have to put in a system. We have to create a game plan. We have to take those goals which I've said this for a long, long time, but this, has brought some, this quote has brought some clarification to it. We have to take those goals and we need to turn those goals from those dreamy thoughts. We need to put them into a plan. We need to come to create those actionable items that we need to do in our everyday lives on a day-to-day -a -day and a week-to-week -week basis. We need to write those down. And then we need to create that system, which is what we're talking about here. We need to create that system of, I'm going to wake up at this time, then I'm going to get up, I'm going to, I'm going to get dressed. I'm going to turn the coffee on. I'm going to work out. I'm going to get done. I'm going to get a cup of coffee, eat some breakfast. I'm going to go take a shower, you know, and write down these things. 
in five minute increments, thing, task by task by task by task, and you create those systems. And it's when I'm gonna do it, how I'm gonna do it, what I'm doing, and then you can have those reflections later on about why I'm doing this, how this is serving me in my life with my, with my personal life as well as with my horses. And you can have these things and you're creating these systems and what, and it's a system, a physical system of holding yourself responsible, but you're also creating a system of what I would consider to be a system based on moral value because you're putting value into these things that you're doing. These things are going to become important to you. They're important to you already, but then your body is going to start making changes. Your mind is going to start making changes because our brain and our neurology is all chemistry. And when we do things that we need to do every single day, especially on the days that we don't want to do it, we overcome incredible feats on a neurological level that will serve us throughout the rest of our lives when things might get a little more difficult. And it also prepares us for the successful times because we're going to have daily successes when we overcome those difficult things, when we put in a hard workout and we do more than we thought we could do. We're creating daily success and where our brains are being trained on how to handle that. You know, we start to learn, okay, we have to, and this is something I personally have to work on is that we have to give ourselves credit, pat ourselves on the back a little bit and say, Hey, you did put that work in. You did do that and give yourself some credit for it and then keep going, keep using that as that motivation. And then when those tough times get a little sticky and get a little gritty, you push through it. You understand that you can, you know that you can, it becomes more of a mindset and you can really work on this stuff. And it becomes so much more than just a system that you have to look at and go, I have to do this. I have to do this. I have to do this then. And then this next, and then this, it's not so much about that. Then it becomes a lifestyle. You go from the systems to, to the, your, create your plan. And then after so many days, you got more of a habitual, you got more of a habit going on. And now you're creating a lifestyle. Those things that are coming into the chemistry is changing in your body. You are changing as a person and you are serving yourself in a way that is sustainable, in a way that will serve you the rest of your life. And that's why it's so important that we, when we look at what we're doing and why we're doing it, we have to be honest with ourselves and go, is this just motivation and inspiration that is going, do I really like doing this? Which means, do I really like doing the work or do I really like the idea of it? And I will be the first one to tell you, there are things that I like the idea of that I don't like doing. And then there's other things that I really like doing that I also like the idea of. And I've had people come up to clinics and they're like, oh yeah, I love doing that. And then I was like, well, do you really like doing it? Or do you just like the idea of doing it? Because you also are telling me that you don't really do it that often. And the things that I really like to do, I do pretty often right? And so we have to be honest with ourselves about where we're coming from in this aspect. So guys, this week, as you go throughout your week, go throughout this next month, throughout this next year with you, I hope that this message carries with you. Be sure, let us know how this is going to, how this helped you guys. Leave us a comment, leave it in the review down below, whatever you can of remembering, we don't rise to the level of our goals. We fall to the level of our systems. So how strong is the system that you have created? How strong is that plan that you've created? Are those, is it so strong that it is part of who you are? Are you in the beginning stages of that journey to where it is a system that you need to write down? There's nothing wrong with that because we got to get started. But do it in a way because it feels like it is serving you mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually in your personal life as well as with your horses. And over time, it will become part of who you are because we have to remember what the things that we think or how we feel, or excuse me, let me get this right for you guys. The things that we think become the way that we feel and the way that we feel becomes our reality. Okay. The things that we think become the way we feel and the way we feel becomes our reality. We have to keep that in mind because we are serving ourselves every single day. I don't believe that we're either just staying the same. We're either getting stronger or we're getting worse as a person, mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. And particularly in a time like today where things are a bit difficult, we have to keep improving on a day-to-day -day basis just to stay level. Because everybody, not and I mean everybody is out there grinding away, doing, doing as much as they can to make the most of this time because it's not easy times. And in particularly if we're one sitting back not doing anything, we're going to be so far behind by the time this all comes to fruition. 
So guys, you guys go out there and have a blessed, blessed week. Greatly appreciate y'all tuning with us, whether you're on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, wherever you found us on the Heart of Horsemanship podcast on Apple, Android, and Spotify. Be sure you like, subscribe, comment, review, do all that stuff good below. And you guys can find us at coltwoodshorsemanship.com. So guys, have a blessed week.